Mini golf may not be the most popular sport in the country right now, but it is have a history that stretches back decades as a favorite American pastime. And according to reports, more than 130 million people play it each year. And annual revenue in the industry is more than a billion dollars. Yeah, wow. some spots actually want to take the sport into the future, though. Local 10's Gio Insignara shows us how this old-fashioned game is getting a fresh coat of paint. Normally when we talk about technology and business, we're thinking metaverse, we're thinking changing industries. Well today, we're going to keep it a little lighter and a little more fun, going back to a childhood classic. What looks like a college student's expressionistic painting of life is actually billed as the world's first tech-infused mini golf experience. Complete with drinks and food to match any South Florida nightclub, the atmosphere here is what stands out. Created by businessman Adam Breeden and the brothers behind Top Golf, Stephen and Dave Jolliffe, Putchak is a stroke of wild imagination, coupled with an edge that sets it apart. The technology is second to none. It, it tracks you. It tracks everything that you do. It makes the game more interactive, more fun. And that technology is all packed inside these golf balls. Called Trackable, it's patented and automatically links a player's profile to their specific ball, which comes up as you place your ball at the start of every hole. Each golf ball has up to four million different lines of code. So it's the exact same technology that you would find inside of your iPhone. It has a micro GPS inside of it. So not only does the golf ball have the technology, it tracks what you do and it keeps the score. It also cuts out any cheating, as there's no need for the old fashioned pencil and paper. But given the amount of technological devices sprinkled across each course, hiccups can happen, so a team is always on standby to reset a hole or recalibrate the balls if needed. For competitors, the focus can instead be on the elaborate designs waiting for you on each nine-hole course, including true or false questions, a prize wheel, pinball, moving obstacles, even beer pong. All of it also highlighted by hazard traps and what's called super tubes, an extra point achievement that guarantees what is the hardest shot in the sport. Oh, all right. Nice. Told you. <laughs> That's a hole-in-one. That, that is a true blue hole-in-one. Unlike traditional golf, the highest score is what you want to win. That chase for points allows for a slightly different approach to the game and a more singular focus in spots you might have previously taken less seriously. All right, that's what I'm looking at right now. All right, I can do this. It's that little pizzazz that no one else has because you'll see other competitors out there that have mini golf or they have indoor versions of what we do, but they don't have the technology. And it's that calling card which drew the curtain on what was a wild ride. In a back and forth match, within 10 points of each other in the home stretch, the tech infused ball rolled down a conclusive tube after that last hole, locking in and dictating the final score. No! <laughs> While a victory not in the cards this day, the fun was still in full supply. Enough to make you want to go back and do it all over again. In Miami, Gio Insignares, Local 10 News.